Hey guys, today is September, what's the date today? September 19th. As by the looks of it, you can tell we got a new room. We will get into that in a different video per se, but uh, my wife and I just moved to Orange County. We were living in Los Angeles County and we just moved to Orange County, not very far from Knott's Berry Farm. So we're gonna be dashing today in uh, the Anaheim area on DoorDash. We're kind of excited. It's our first night dashing in the Anaheim area. So we don't know the area at all. We're kind of back to square one, but we're gonna use the tips that we've learned in previous videos to put our best foot forward and see how we do tonight. So this is, the numbers that we come up with tonight are verse nothing. So this is a Saturday night. There's $2 peak pay until 8.30. It's about seven, what's it? 7.30 right now. $2 peak pay, we could, we're able to just go straight on. And we're gonna go for three hours and see how we do. Good luck to us. Okay, we're heading out. We got our first double dash in Anaheim at, you guessed it, Little Caesars for 14 bucks. So we're off and running. What do you think, babe? Nice new hood. Got anything to add? No. She's she's just gonna. I'm mad at you. Oh, she's a little bit upset. Yeah, I'm mad at you. But her, she won't be less mad. We make 120 bucks tonight. Will I? Yes. Is there a suicide lane like here? Really I can't even tell if there's a suicide lane. Really no, oh, yeah. there's not. Yes, it is. Oh, there is. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh frick! Show that one to the camera. This is this is what it's like in the new hood, boys and girls. Seventeen bucks for four miles? Yeah. Yeah. It's two orders. On yeah, the we're gonna get really used to this. We're taking that. I didn't get the accurate timestamp. I'm sure it's on the on the camera. I think it was seven thirty three when we left. So we will gauge our earnings based off of seven thirty three. Do they have a lot of? Come on in there and be somebody. I'm pretty sure that uh, these two orders are going towards where the Chipotle is. That's perfect. All right, we got two orders in the books. For all you people that are upset that I double dash and think that our food's cold, not so. It's just not the case. Yeah, the, those pizzas were like burning my arms as I was delivering them. So while we were delivering the pizzas, we already have two to Chipotle on Jessica's phone, and. We haven't picked them up yet, so they're still at the restaurant, probably not even ready. So, I just... You know, it would be interesting to see if Chipotle here in Orange, Orange County is any faster than the Chipotle's in LA. Uh, they are so slow in LA, even when they don't have customers. So, I'm interested to see what the difference is. Yeah, we're, we'll find out. I totally forgot. And I tried to call you, I forgot I had both our phones in my hand. That boy live is Michael Jackson. You should see Ruby right next to me. Interesting uh, pickup here. It's been a while since I've seen a Chipotle like this, but the orders are not behind the counter or near the counter even. They're in the window. There's like a rack in the window that's categorized alphabetically. And it looks like Jessica has two of them. We have three from the same Chipotle, so we'll see how this third one goes. It looks like she doesn't have that third one yet. Oh, it is the one in the corner. Oh, shoot. Here, put this one in the bag. And last chance to find a go go dance this hold now. I just got this weird thing too. Okay, I just got this weird thing on there. Claiming they're like 500 days late, but somehow still getting a hundred dollar yeah. bonus. So weird. All right, next one. Oh, we're only four minutes away. That house is like a mansion. I know they can afford more than a $2 tip. They Are you could. Kidding? That's why they have a mansion. Yeah. <laughs> you, the, the blinds were open in one of their front windows. You happy? And their living room was like really fancy. Yeah, like, I could only see the fireplace and the painting that they had about the fireplace and some like fancy vases and stuff, but it's expensive. 
All right, so we're 42 minutes in. Jessica's got 18 bucks. Her amazing husband is 20. So we're on 38 bucks in 42 minutes. Yeah, I'd say this neighborhood's working out. They make it just way too easy to at um, Chipotle to just to walk steal. in and like take it. Oh, but the kind of people that are, that are shopping at, at a Chipotle, darling, they don't steal. See, I'm questioning, how, like, can we get into this neighborhood right here? Are we not able to get to the house this way? No, I'm just curious like, if we're able to get to the house. There's a bunch of dead ends. Next left, yeah. and then left turn. We love cul-de-sacs in America. Because well, I think this street is a dead end up there. Oh. You have arrived at your destination. The okay. route guidance is now finished. Okay, we just rolled into the house. It is 9.58 on my dash. It says uh, 10.01 up there, but it's 9.58. We left at 7.33 on the dash. So we're out two hours and 25 minutes. What do you think? Verdict for the first night. Um, the start of the night was really good, and I feel like we were getting really well-priced orders. Yeah. But then, towards the end of the evening, it was, like, crappy little orders. Oh, I was really surprised, too, though. People weren't leaving very big tips. I thought it being a more expensive area, that people would leave bigger tips, but they didn't. Like, one person left a dollar fifty tip, and then everyone else was just leaving $2 tips. One person left a $3 tip. Yeah, so it... A good first night. We have no clue how this area is. We don't know individual restaurants. Remember, just because a particular wing stop or Little Caesars or whatever it is is good in one area doesn't mean that it operates the same way in another area just because it's the same name on the front. I will we're say finding though, that out. The employees were so much friendlier. Yeah, they definitely were. Like in Orange so County, funny. the sun shines just a little brighter. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll go inside and we'll do the math and see how we did on our first night. All right, guys, back in the house. Feels weird, it's a completely different setting than before. Um, but it was a decent night for our first night. We have literally no clue what the area is like, what the restaurants are like. We're just shooting from the hip, just using the skills that we've developed over over the past couple years. Two hours, 25 minutes, just over $65. Not, not awful, not great. Um, Nine deliveries for an average hourly rate of 27 and change. I'll take it for the first night. Saturday night, we would normally expect to be pushing over 30 bucks an hour without batting an eyelash. Night was pretty good for the first hour and, and tapered off after we made a, a couple silly mistakes. Yeah, guys, I hope you liked the video. Go ahead and drop me some questions or some comments about uh, what you've been up to the last few weeks while I've been on hiatus with the move. And we will see you soon. God bless. Have a great night.